but you guys got another video here for you now if you've uh, locked yourself out of your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 uh, PC and you can't get in because you've forgotten your password I'm going to show you how you can bypass this and reset it with Hiren's Boot CD now Hiren's Boot CD is a free download and it's packed with very useful tools to fix a lot of issues with your computer and it's great at resetting passwords and it's free so let's uh, take a look at how we can reset or remove this password so we can get onto our system. So we're going to reboot and boot to our um, disk. Now if you haven't got um, a disk and you've only got a USB thumb drive then you will need to create a USB thumb drive that's bootable with Hiren's Boot CD on it. If you don't know how to do that then you can watch one of my videos to show you how to do that. I did make a video on how to do that. So let's reboot our system. Okay, now once we've booted our system up, you should see Hiren's Boot CD 15.2. That's the version I'm using. We're going to boot into Mini Windows XP. Now this is not installing anything. It's a live CD. Just let this load in. And there we are. It boots up very quickly. Now once you get to this stage, what you want to do here is you can either come down to where it says HBCD menu on the bottom right hand side or you can just click on this. You want to go into programs, password and keys, windows logon and then NTPW edit. This will reset your password. This will be the box that comes up. Now what you need to do is locate the path to the actual SAM file and that is a uh, I'm going to show you where that is we're going to browse this one here so you need to go to here now your drive has been changed to D so click on that Windows come across to where it says system 32 then you want to come down to where it says config and there you can see your SAM file okay you need to click open and there you can see it's loaded up our login details the one we want to reset is the account that's called Brightech in your case it will be whatever your account is and you can actually change the password here okay now if you leave this blank it will just uh, remove the password if you want to put a new password in you can do so by typing in your new password so I'm going to leave this blank save changes then we can exit out of this and then reboot the system back into our PC now we can remove the CD or USB thumb drive I'm going to restart Just let this boot up. And you'll see it will just bypass this part and go straight onto the desktop. And there you go. Password has been removed and you should be back up and running. Now you can recreate your new password by going to your user accounts and setting up your password there. But as you can see, pretty simple to do. So anyway, so I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.